folks. Those are people who hate needles. Needles. And, picked it up and right unfortunately away. Unfortunately <laughs> for those folks, that nasal spray vaccine, it's no longer recommended. But let's start out with some debunking flu shot myths. Now, you can't get the flu from the vaccine. It's made with dead flu virus. And while the vaccine may not be perfect, it does work well. It's happening at clinics, pharmacies, doctor's offices, and senior centers all over the country. The annual push to get as many Americans as possible vaccinated against influenza. And experts think this season could be serious because of what flu was just like in the Southern Hemisphere. This summer, it was winter in the Southern Hemisphere down in Australia, and they had a very bad flu season, and that sometimes predicts what will happen here. Dr. William Schaffner is a nationally recognized vaccine expert who says there's a strong reason to get vaccinated this year. It looks like we have a very good match between what's in the vaccines we're using now. We anticipate that the dominant strain will be a so-called H3N2 strain, and I mention that because it causes more severe illness generally, but especially in older persons, people age 65 and older, more hospitalizations, and I'm afraid more deaths. And that strain is in all the vaccines this year, but this year there are some options. Some vaccines contain three strains of virus, but a newer type called quadrivalent vaccine adds a fourth strain to provide wider protection. Both are good, but ask for quadrivalent if possible. Another change this year, there are two types of flu shots specifically formulated for people age 65 and older. Because their immune systems don't respond as well to the vaccine, and many of them have underlying diseases like diabetes, heart disease, lung disease. So these vaccines improve the immune response in people age 65 and older and provide better protection. And finally, as if you needed another reason to get vaccinated. Overall, there was about a 33% reduction in risk for heart attack, strokes, and other major cardiovascular events in those who received the flu shot. So with all those options, what's the best flu shot for you? It's the one that you'll actually get. Now, don't put off getting a flu shot simply because you can't find the perfect one. Any flu vaccine will provide good protection. So roll up your sleeve. And by the way, it's, there's some evidence now that if you're in a good mood and mm -hmm. happy when you get your flu mm -hmm. shot, you actually have a better response. Really? To Is your blood just flowing immune? better yeah. or something? <laughs> well, I think it's your, you know, it's your immune system. You're huh. not, if you're not stressed, mm -hmm. stress is known yeah. to depress the immune system. So if you're a happy person, you get a better response to the flu shot. Well, I guess when you see the needle, though, those needle phobes are not as happy, you know? It's just a little... Yeah, I haven't broken the news yet to my kids that the flu no uh, more, mist no is... No more flu uh, mist. Oh, well. Eh, well.